Uh, this is Andy Cotter with MMA.ca here in Moncton, New Brunswick at Elite One MMA Payback. Uh, we had a really good night tonight, nine fights. Uh, team Wolfrun MMA from Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island went 4-0. and And one of the team members, although he didn't fight tonight, a very prominent mixed martial artist in Canada, Jason Sago, 7-1. and Thanks for talking with us. How are you doing tonight? Great. How are you? I couldn't be better. I love coming to the fights. Have a good time. How was your night? It was awesome. It was great to see uh, the Wolf and MMA team come together and go 4 and 0 tonight. Mm -hmm. So you're still a promising prospect yourself. You're 7 and 1. Your most recent fight was a, was a victory over Air Qatar at the last core fighting series. Uh, tell us about how you're, uh, you know, where you are in your career and your life right now. Are you are you happy? Are you content? Where do you see how, where do you see yourself going? Uh, right now, I'm training really hard for my next fight. It's going to be on the score November 23rd. So about three weeks left. I came out to uh, the island to train at Paul's Academy, also with Matt McGrath, uh, Lenny Wheeler, a couple of other guys. So it's been great working with them. They have a really uh, high level of expertise, and I make my, every time I have a training camp, I can make sure to come out to the island and train at Wolfram MMA. Are you originally from PEI? Uh, I'm not originally from PEI, no. So how did you end up hooking up with those guys, just from knowing Paul in Ontario? Connection with Paul in Ontario, and uh, that connection is actually probably going to lead me to moving to the island eventually. Oh, wow. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not from there, but I think I'm going to move there. Well, you'll, I've been in Halifax for 20 years, so I say I'm from here now. But oh, right. yeah, you'll you'll be from PEI someday, I guess. I, I hope so. It's a great place to live, and now they have one of the best training academies on the East Coast with uh, Wolfram MMA. So I'm really looking forward to it. I just spoke briefly with your coach Paul and Matt McGrath, who you just mentioned, and they talked about Wolfram. Tell me about your experiences at Wolfram and how you you fit in there. Wolfram MMA is just a really high-level training academy with uh, Paul's expertise and knowledge. Like he said, he's trained in Muay Thai before, he's dabbled in wrestling, and also he specializes in Jiu-Jitsu, so he's a guy who can kind of put it all together. So although back in Ontario I have uh, individual coaches, like as in Atlanta Muay Thai for my Muay Thai training, Chris Prickett, uh, University of Guelph for wrestling, and Paul's Academy in uh, Bolton, Ontario, when I come out here with Paul, we kind of make the links together for mixed martial arts, so linking you know the wrestling to the Jiu-Jitsu and then yeah. for the striking going into the wrestling. So he's the kind of the guy who connects everything together. So at 7-1, and one, fighting in uh, the promotion in Canada arguably gives you the most exposure, the score. They have a lot of, uh, a lot of press, a lot of well-run organization. Where do you see your future going with MMA? Uh, I have two more fights left on my contract with the score, and then obviously my goal is to be in the UFC. Mm -hmm. Well, we've seen a, a spate of, uh, of Canadians getting the UFC lately, so I think that's certainly a reasonable expectation, don't you think? I, I think so. If I just keep doing what I'm doing, keep training hard, stay focused, that's the plan. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Well, thanks, Jason. That's all the questions I have. Is there anything you'd like to add? Uh, I just wanted to thank uh, my sponsors and also Team Wolfrin, uh, Matt McGrath, Lenny Wheeler. Those, those guys have been fundamental in helping my training camp. So I just, uh, just wanted to thank those guys and friends and family as well. Great. Thanks for speaking with us, Jason. Okay, take care. All right, this is Andy with MMA in Moncton, New Brunswick, speaking with Jason Sago.